three weeks of tennis. That is out of this world. Hundreds of meters of cable, hundreds of cameras. Stand by three and next to three. Hundreds of graphics. Plenty of energy, guys. Have a great show. Okay, here we come. Months and months of planning. Welcome everyone to another day of action here at the Australian Open. We get to tell the story of this amazing event to millions of people around the world. We broadcast into every region in the world and there's over a billion people that watch it. Things are heating up here at Melbourne Park. We deliver it and produce it entirely ourselves, end to end. It's been a tough couple of weeks. Judy, how are you going? Too many sources to put in, not enough buttons. It's a tight turnaround, really less than a month in order to get the technology in. Four, three, two, one. And we're live. The other challenge this year was COVID. I've got some staff that are supposed to start on Monday and they just won't be here in time. We literally had camera operators spring into action and become directors. Get yourself into the frame of mind. Last night, we had a camera operator become a floor manager. Psych yourself up, just like the athletes out there. Look to create your own magic. I'm a floor manager, so I could always step in. Hopefully not, uh, I'm out of practice. <laughs> We want the rest of the world to feel if they're sitting at home in their lounge room that they're right here with us enjoying it. And that's up to the broadcast team to create that experience. That's the way to seal the deal. For us, our perfect day is that people are watching and they don't even think about what's happening and how this is coming together because they're so involved in what they're seeing. Players are here, the courts are ready, the cameras are in position and we're really ready to go.